down-regulate. They stop making their own acetylcholine. The more you're smoking, the less natural acetylcholine your cells are going to make. Cells don't know, don't, or no longer need to make the stuff because it's coming in from the outside in the form of cigarette smoke. The cells then become dependent on this outside source of acetylcholine or outside source of nicotine uh, mimicking acetylcholine. And when it isn't forthcoming, our cells yell at us in the form of a craving. That's what a craving is, a cell saying, hey, we're out of acetylcholine. Let's get some more. Of course, we give them more nicotine, and that acts like acetylcholine. That's called addiction. And it's one of the main reasons why it's so hard to quit smoking. Why is this important to understand? Once we understand this, the key to quitting smoking, to reducing cravings, to reducing the effects of nicotine addiction becomes clear. And I'll tell you what I mean tomorrow as we continue talking about acetylcholine, nicotine, nerve transmission, and nutrition for building acetylcholine on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to Missouri and welcome Matt to the bright side. Good morning, Matt. What's up, buddy? Hey, uh, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's going on? Yeah, uh, I've been struggling with acne for um, a while now, and okay. I was wondering what Super do easy. you recommend, as well as uh, I get dry skin, uh, okay. you know, chest and arms. And How old are you, Matt? Uh, 23. Okay. Acne, the most important thing, I'll tell you what to do here in a second. I've been dealing with acne and, and uh, treating acne and reversing acne for pushing 30 years now. Uh, as you probably know, I've been in the skincare business for a long time, and even though we talk a lot about nutrition on this program, and I love working with nutrition, my real love in the body is working with the skin. And I can tell you this, if you're dealing with acne, it is 100% reversible, again, with no doctors, like all health issues, with no doctors required, no drugs, no, nothing but good, good old nutrition and taking care of toxicity and some of the basics. So what's the deal here with acne? Well, first of all, there's different types of acne. I call, I call the different types of acne the seven types of acne, but we're going to make it even simpler. We'll, we'll, We'll uh, uh, break it down into two types of acne. You have acne that's associated with the very tippy, tippy top of the skin, the surface of the skin, and then you have acne that's associated with the deeper layers of the skin. The skin is composed of two parts, a deep, beefy part, that's called the connective tissue, and then you have a, a coating on the skin, and that's called epithelial tissue. Your, your garden variety pimples, the uh, white heads and black heads and little tiny bumps on the skin, yeah. those are problems with the skin surface. The real, uh, the real unpleasantries with acne are the boils and the cysts and the uh, 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 real heavy, real, real uh, deep kinds of uh, blemishes or deep kinds of wounds or lesions, and those are associated with the connective tissue, the stuff underneath. If you have boils and cysts, you've got a connective tissue problem, which means you have a toxicity problem. If you have a surface, uh, uh, problems with the surface, whiteheads and blackheads and little bumps, you're pretty much dealing with some kind of nutritional deficiency. Now, certainly you can have uh, uh, toxicity and still have epithelial or surface problems, and you can have nutritional deficiencies and have connective tissue issues, but generally speaking, if they're deep boils and cysts, and if they appear on the neck or they appear on the back or even on the butt or on the arms or on the shoulders, you're probably dealing with some kind of toxicity issue. If you're dealing with little whiteheads and blackheads, you're probably dealing with a nutritional deficiency. Now, if you have the kind of acne that's associated with rashes or you have the kind of acne that's associated with some kind of uh, redness yeah. in the skin, that's a food problem. If you kind of have the kind of acne that's associated with uh, uh, kind of like a, a rashes and, and bumps that appear on the sides of the face, on the cheek area, or maybe sometimes on the jawline area, you're pretty much dealing with a digestive issue. So that's, I guess we could say three types of acne. You've got toxicity, you've got digest, digestive issues, and you've got nutritional deficiency. So which type of acne is yours, Matt? Is it the kind that's boils and cysts? Is it the kind that's rashy? Or is it the kind that's little, little bumps and whiteheads and blackheads? Or is it a combination? It's probably a combination of little well, bumps and whiteheads and probably... Uh the uh, toxicity. The um, rashiness? You got yeah, the rashes? It's not really, I don't get cysts. It's more like okay. uh, red. Rashy. It's more like uh, like red spots okay. kind of on my face. And Would you say it's a rash? Would it look like a rash to you? Um, no, not so much a rash. I mean, I think parts of my arms and stuff. No, no, I'm talking about the face. Oh, the Would face? You, um, yeah. 
I don't think it's more. I don't think okay. it's a rash. I think it's probably just more redness. Huh? Okay, and that's what a rash is, Matthew. Okay. That, that's a rash, okay? So you have, is it, it's on the sides of the face or the middle of your face? It's like right under my eyes. It always looks like it's sunburned, kind of. Under your eyes? Yeah. And why yeah. do you think that's acne? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, okay. I, I, it doesn't I, sound yeah. like acne. It doesn't sound like acne. Here's what you want to do. Underneath the eyes, you have a fluid system called your lymph system, which you've probably heard. And when, the, uh, under, uh, when you have the tissue underneath the eye, either it gets red or it gets... Uh, or it gets swollen, that means your lymphatic system probably means your lymphatic system is starting to get clogged up with poison. So a couple of things. Whenever you have a clogged up lymphatic system and you have poisons that are getting into the body, you want to backtrack it to food. So link your uh, skin issues to specific foods you're eating, number one. That means when your, skin, uh, when your rash gets worse under the eyes or the redness gets worse or the puff, you have puffiness, if that gets worse, connect that up to what you ate an hour or two hours or three hours before. Usually you'll find dairy is involved, grains may be involved, or soy may be involved, legumes, peanuts, and beans and soy and, and such. Usually those are the big problem foods. It could be anything, but those are the big problem foods. Another way you can do it is link digestive issues. You probably have some digestive problems, constipation, loose stools, gas, bloating, any of those. Link those up to foods, and then you're going to want to eliminate those foods. That's always step number one. Link the problem to food, and then eliminate those foods. Second thing you want to do is start to patch up the digestive system. Uh, using nutritional supplements, the most important is going to be the Biolumin Nightly Essence from uh, probiotics. Uh, probiotics are always the most important nutritional supplement for any kind of digestive issue. And even though we're talking skin here, Matt, you really have a digestive issue, it sounds like to me. So probiotics and fermented foods as well, uh, kefir, miso, kimchi, and that, that's those sort of foods, uh, those, those will help stabilize gut bacteria, which will have a wonderful, beneficial effect on the digestive system. Hang tight, Matt. i got a few more things I want to say. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues, no matter how serious or trivial. 
For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are G's. on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben talking to Matt in Missouri. Matt, I'm going to go a little quickly here. I want to get to a bunch of calls here, okay? Okay. So first and foremost, you want to link your problems, your skin issues to foods. When your skin flares up, that's great. That's awesome. When your skin flares up, that is one of the best things that can happen to you because that'll give you a major clue to what you to what's going on. All you got to do is figure out what you did in terms of food a few hours or four, five, six hours before the flare up and keep kind of keep track of it. Every time you flare up, link it to foods, eliminate those foods. You can do the same thing with your digestive symptomology. I'm assuming you have digestive symptoms. If you don't know that you have digestive symptoms, look for them. They're in your interest to find them. And then link those up to foods and eliminate those foods. Then you start to support the digestive system. Uh, In addition to eliminating problem foods, which is very supportive, you want to make sure you're using fermented foods and probiotics. I love the Nightly Essence product from Longevity. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Try to get yourself a about 40 to 100 billion units of bacteria every day. The more you take, uh, if you can take higher amounts, that's better, even though it's going to cost you a little bit more money. The Z-Radical can help coat the digestive system. That is very, very important. The Z-Radical is good for the immune system also, uh, and that will help you with your skin issues. Using digestive enzymes after meals may be helpful. Using a swig of apple cider vinegar after all your meals also can be helpful. And then perhaps lecithin granules taken with fatty foods or really with all of your meals. Stir some lecithin granules into a uh, into some water and drink that down. Uh, and then also you can use an enzyme blend called pancreatin, which has wonderfully beneficial effects on the digestive system, P-A-N-C-R-E-A-T-I-N, pancreatin. You can also get glutamine powder and use about a teaspoon of that a day, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, and that can also have beneficial effects on the digestive system. So long story short, focus on digestive health and wellness, eliminate problem foods, use supplements that help coat and soothe the digestive system, and that's your strategy for dealing with uh, with the kind of acne you're talking about. It doesn't sound like acne as much as it sounds like an allergic reaction. Okay, I hope that helps, Matt. Anything else, bro? Um, yeah, and I just was uh, talking about the uh, dry skin issue, too. Yeah, that's, tell- that's telling me you're not utilizing, you're not absorbing, or your body's somehow not utilizing fats correctly, and that could be you're not taking them into your body through supplements or foods, or you're not absorbing them. All the things I just told you about, uh, pancreatin, lecithin, digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar, all of those things, glutamine, probiotics, all of that's going to help you absorb your fats. You might want to throw in 20,000 international units a day of vitamin A, which can be very helpful for dry skin, and also perhaps um, 400 international units of vitamin uh, vitamin E, and then omega-3s and omega-6s. I should I should 
said that. Th- those are also very important. Uh, the ultimate EFAs will get you those. Fat, dry skin should always be considered a problem with fats. The fact that you also have some allergic problems, some allergic reactions, that's really telling me you've got some kind of fat digestion problem. And it could be either intake of fats or absorption of fat. So taking in your fatty vitamins, your EFAs, and then using all of the nutritional, the digestive support we just talked about, that will help uh, with the dry skin as well. Okay, bro? All right. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Have a good day. Okay. Let's see. Maria in Massachusetts. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hi. Um, thank you for having me on your show. Sure. Um, so basically, I have low back pain and stiffness due to due to a a two-and-a-half-year-old work-related injury. Okay. Basically, I I was a nurse's aide, and I was doing a lot of heavy lifting. Okay. And 